From FX Empire, it's Christopher Lewis looking at the November 29th uh, trading session in Bitcoin. And uh, Bitcoin has continued to rally a bit uh, as the 20 day or 20 hour, I should say, SMA and the Bollinger Band on the hourly chart continue to show very strong uh, bullish pressure. 10,000. I mean, that's pretty much a given at this point that we're going to make a serious go at it. And typically what happens in these scenarios is you get massive volatility and you could get massive profit taking or you could not you just never really know but typically that does somewhat happen and that's part of why the market hesitates um those of you new to the cryptocurrency world a 10 percent drop not a big deal and can happen in an hour quite frankly so don't be surprised if we get a massive sell-off but that massive sell-off could end up being uh value uh, Anecdotally, um, we had 300,000 new Coinbase accounts open over the weekend alone. It's starting to catch a lot of media headlines. That reminds me a lot of gold ATMs, um, housing speculators that would only buy and refinance basically every year because housing prices could never fall. Um, you know, supermodels and rappers refusing to be paid in U.S. dollars and only euros, which I think at the time the euro was 1.60, if that tells you anything. So I am a bit concerned about this. When I look at the uh, monthly chart, you know, there's not a lot I can say about that that isn't obvious. So definitely uh, being uh, careful is the only thing that you can do. I think on a pullback, 9,800 is support. 9,600 to support as well. Now, once we break above 10,000, and I do think we will, um, a flood of money will probably come in. The question is, is it a blow off top? We're at very precarious le uh, levels in Bitcoin right now.